Pugsley, what are you thankful for? Tell the people what you're thankful for. No comment? Ain't nobody about to give you no belly rub. You thankful for a belly rub? I ain't, gonna, <laughs> I ain't about to give you one. Happy Thanksgiving! It's just Janine wishing you guys a happy Thanksgiving on your side. I hope you're having a great morning. It's almost afternoon here, but I hope you're having a great Thanksgiving. I hope you have a safe, happy Thanksgiving and that you spend time with your family, friends, even your enemies. I'm actually on my way out the door so I can head over to my parents' house and my grandparents' house to get ready for our Thanksgiving tradition. We always come together every holiday, major holidays, and you know, as family and eat dinner and fellowship. So that's where I'm headed to now. I want to show you guys something before I leave. I'm going to try to, I want to show you what I attempted to make um, for the Thanksgiving dinner. Okay, so I got my brownies here. So I made some brownies as you saw earlier. So the brownies came out really, really good. Now this is supposed to be like a harvest. I call it a harvest hash. I just gave it a whole nother name. But it's got, um, sweet potatoes it has brussels sprouts it has apple and it's supposed to have like cinnamon which i thought i had cinnamon i had no cinnamon in my house i don't know where my cinnamon went to but i always keep cinnamon in my house and i'm scared scouring the cabinets like where's my cinnamon so i'd use nutmeg instead and some sugar but i know that's not gonna help i got this recipe on pinterest this is what mine looks like and it's supposed to have a few more items in here, but it's supposed to have like chicken in it and bacon, but I didn't do that. I'm gonna show you what this recipe is supposed to look like. Hold on. Hopefully they'll like it, but this is where I'm on my way to right now. So I'm gonna get out of here because I was supposed to have been there at 12 o'clock. And it is 11.56. So I'm on the road and it is sunny. It is beautiful. Clear skies. It's about 62 degrees. But I think the high is going to be like 55 degrees. It's supposed to drop down I think in the low 30s. So here in Alabama, that is very, very cold for us. It's 30 some degrees. Like, yeah, that's freezing for us. Not used to that on our southern skin. See the cotton? In case y'all northerners don't know what cotton is that's cotton yep we still got cotton down here in the south we ain't picking it though look at this fall scenery it is so nice yeah no that was a bad idea so i tried to roll the window down and give y'all some scenery some shots and look at my hair <laughs> bad idea but i'm going i'm just ready to eat i have not eaten any breakfast uh, the only thing I had, I took my medicine this morning, drunk some water, 
that's pretty much all I've had in my stomach. So my stomach is free and clear and it is ready for some sustenance. It's ready for some turkey and some dressing, some greens, beans, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, ham. You name it! It's kind of sad that this is like Thanksgiving is the only day out of the year where people are more focused on uh, being thankful. It's just really today um, you see more people prayed up extra thankful on their social medias and stuff like that and I do it too but it's just kind of sad that just this particular day um, people just seem to people just seem to be more grateful on this day than any other day it's like the holidays get you for the season and then once the all the hoopla of the holiday is over with it's back to buy humbug Thanksgiving Thanksgiving thanks and giving should really teach us more than receiving I, I think if you can get something out of being thankful and giving I think that should mean more to you than receiving don't you think it's common sense why should we always have our hand out waiting to receive something all the time we got what we need it's just we got our hands out for what we want but we got everything that we need for the most part but we still have that urge to always it's not enough so we're never thankful tell the folks happy thanksgiving ma mm. tell them happy thanksgiving happy thanksgiving and what are you thankful for life huh thankful to be here life in general Daddy, mm. happy Thanksgiving. What are you thankful for? Everything. Fantastic. Just being alive. Being alive. See this day. Hope I see them in more. You will. A lot of them. Yeah. Name you. It was here last year. And here today. Just thankful to see this day. Yep. Mm-hmm. Being a, just being alive. Still kicking. Yeah, able to move about. Mm -hmm. you know, next, next Thanksgiving will bring. Nobody knows what tomorrow will bring. I don't know what tomorrow will bring. Just be thankful for the day you see. You live to see. Just be thankful. And I'm thankful that my parents are still here to see this day. Because a lot of people may have lost a loved one. Or parent and mom or dad and I still have both of mine so I'm thankful that I still have my parents here today uh, to share this Thanksgiving and all my siblings are here and cousins aunts and uncles are here as well so I'm still eating I'm still grubbing it's good y'all I'm gonna eat some more time for dessert I'm gonna show you what food we got here for Thanksgiving excuse me if I got food all in my mouth what we got here for our Thanksgiving dinner is we have crock pot dressing. I know a lot of people put their dressing in a pan, but my mom does a crock pot dressing, which is, woo, fog up my camera. It's more moist when it's in the crock pot than when it is in the pan. So we got that, and we got, what's this, Ma? Okay, just some extra chicken. We got some cupcakes. These are, I think these are, collards are these these pinto beans we got pinto beans turnip turnip greens cornbread macaroni and then my harvest hash <laughs> and we got the turkey let me show y'all my brother did the turkey Look at that. It's got it all sliced up. It's very moist too. Got sliced turkey that is um, smoked. I think this may be the peach cobbler. Is this the is this the peach cobbler, Mom? That was okay. So this is the peach cobbler that I got from this restaurant uh, named Smokies, and I'm gonna tell y'all the story about this this peach cobbler. And let's see what we got. Sweet potato pie. We got two. We got two sweet potato pies in there. 
We got potato salad, cranberry sauce. Here's a pie. There's a pie right there. Mom, what kind of pie is this? Lemon meringue? Lemon meringue? Oh, this is chocolate pie. Cherry cobbler back there from Patty LaBelle. And we got cranberry Sprite. So let me tell y'all the story about what happened to the peach cobbler. So, what was it? Monday? What's today? Wednesday? So it was Monday. So Monday I called to order peach cobbler from this barbecue restaurant called Smokey's. So I called a day in advance because I knew with the holidays coming up they were going to be pretty busy. So I called the day ahead, placed my order for a peach cobbler, and I told the lady I needed I needed to pick it up at 12.30. So I had to be ready before 12.30 because I was going to pick it up at 12.30. Exact. So she said, okay, took my order, okay. So the next day comes, Tuesday. So I called about 11.45. Something kept telling me to call because I've had some issues with their service before. So just to make sure that they, you know, didn't try to mess me over. So I called about 11.45 and I asked the lady. There was a girl that answered the phone. I asked her, I said, um, I said, I told her my name and I told her what I ordered. And I asked her, I said, is it in the oven? And she said, yes, it's in the oven. Um, and I said, and it will be ready at 12.30, right? And she says, yes, ma'am, it'll be ready at 12.30. Okay, so good. Make perfect timing. I'm, I'm ahead of schedule. So I'm on the road. I get on the road by 12.15 because the place is really not that far. I get halfway down the road and my phone starts ringing. It's Smokies. So a guy tells me, he says, it's like, you know, we apologize. We've been backed up. It's been real hectic. Um, we just put your pie in the oven this, uh, about 10 minutes ago. So he said it'll be ready in about 20, 20 more minutes, 25 more minutes, something like that. So I told him, I said, look, I said, I, this is why I called in yesterday to have this pie ordered in advance. So that way it'd be ready. This cobbler ordered in advance. So that way it'd be ready when I got there. My order should have been first priority. As soon as y'all open up at 11 o'clock, that thing should have went in the oven because it don't take that long to cook. And y'all could have handled all the other orders you had. But mine was placed a day in advance. So... I get there. No, I actually made some other stops because um, I, I did have another stop I need to make, so I try to kill some time. So kill some time. I get there, thinking it's been it's been at least 20 minutes by that time. I get there, and uh, they was like, the peach cobbler's here. Peach cobbler's here. So I'm thinking they better bring it to me and pay for it, and I walk out the door, only for them to tell me, oh, it's gonna be seven more minutes. So then I have to wait even longer for my pie for for the cobbler. I'm sitting there and I'm thinking to myself, out of common courtesy, they could at least give me a discount or something. I'm waiting for them to make the move without me say, having to say anything first as a customer. So I get up there and she tells me, well, for your inconvenience, we give you a discount. So, okay. So she rung it up and she told me it's like $16. But then I thought about it and I was like, well, when I called yesterday and I asked how much it was for a pan of cobbler, she told me, they told me $16 before tax. Give me a senior citizen discount for a dollar and sixty cents. When I tell you I was mad, but this ain't the worst of it. I was so in a hurry, they took an extra 30 minutes out of my time. So I had to hurry because I had one, I had not gotten ready for work. I have not eaten breakfast, no nothing. And then I had to meet my mom to give her the stuff uh, where she could take to her house to finish making the Thanksgiving food, the uh, uh, Thanksgiving dinner. So um, the traffic is bumper to bumper. Everybody's out shopping. So I get ready to go kind of down a hill and turn to my right. I didn't even throw on brakes. I hit my brakes, but I didn't throw on brakes. But it was just enough for the cobbler to nosedive down in my floorboard. So half of my cobbler was on the floor. But I tell you, I heard that cobbler hit that flow. I, everything went in slow motion. It was just like... Needless to say, I will never give Smokey my business again. I will never even refer Smokies again. They will never get my money again. I didn't even have time to even put up a fuss or a hassle. So I was running late for work or would have been running late for work. So I just kept it moving. But they, they would never get my business again. So they may have the best peach cobbler out there. But I'm pretty sure I can find somebody else that can make me a peach cobbler even better. So bye-bye, Smokies. Get your macaroni, honey. Love some macaroni.
Why you got a cafeteria plate? I don't know if I told y'all, but we have two holiday traditions. So we always come together my mom's house and we eat here. And then my grandma's house, which my grandparents have passed away, they have a house uh, up the road. And everybody, everybody else, all the family, that's the main place where everybody goes to um, eat for the different holidays and stuff like that. So that's where everybody is right now. So what is this called? Well, at least what model? This is the breeze. The breeze? You got you one too, Pastor? Uh-uh. No, I had to start at the, the children's level. The children's <laughs> level? So we are at my family storm shelter here, trying to get some a story on this storm shelter. Yeah. And yeah, that's another thing. It floods in here, and um, it floods in here. There's no oxygen. Whatever you do. Yeah. There's no. There's no oxygen. Y'all got the thing stopped up. Man, that's daddy's doing. Oh, you probably got about. You you might have. We got two minutes to live. <laughs> now granddad lived in here. I know y'all can. Mm, that was different times. <laughs> That's what air was a little different. Oxygen was a little different. <laughs> so the tradition is we draw for Christmas. We do a drawing. Get each other stuff. We draw man. I got two bags. No, I didn't. Why are you using my sugar bowl? Did you draw two names or one name? So now I'm going to draw. Let's see who's who's going to be getting colds this year. <laughs> Let's see. Put it on camera so I know I ain't cheating. I think I did too. Yeah, I want to try it. Alright, let's see who I got. You ain't getting no blank piece of paper because I put a name on everybody's. Lady, the last person left. So my sister should be drawing last. So that's what we do every year. So we just put our names in a bucket, draw, and get a gift for that person. And my battery about to die. Yeah, I'm blurry. I am back home. Say hey, Pugsley. Look, are you happy to see me? You happy to see me? Look, you happy to see me? Take my boots off. Had a really great time with my family. Enjoyed seeing everybody. Hope I'm not blurry. Enjoy seeing everybody and spending time with my folks and eating. And I didn't eat a lot, but man, was I bloated and still bloated. Like, stomach is just hurting right now. All in all, everything was good. Everything was great. So, I am in for the rest of the night. I'm just going to chill. Get my chill on, catch me some Christmas movies. My battery's about to die, so I'm trying to make this quick. So what I'm going to do is, of course, this is Thanksgiving, last day of Thanksgiving. So what I normally do is the day after Thanksgiving, I take all of the um, decor down for the fall and for Thanksgiving. And that's when I put my Christmas stuff up. So I'll be pulling all the Christmas stuff tonight and just seeing what I got, what I don't got, what needs to be updated or replaced so that's pretty much what i'm gonna do for the rest of the night so i hope you guys had a happy safe thanksgiving i hope you ate well enjoyed your family and friends loved ones hope you just had a really really great day i'm gonna go ahead and end out on this vlog because this camera is about to die in probably five four three two one <laughs> if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe like comment and don't forget to click that notification bell it's just janine i will see you guys on the next video bye